What's my estimate? Is my estimate 40? I think I put it as 40. Alright, you're live. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna count it down. Is yep. timer ready? Alright, cool. Yep. Alright, three, two, one, go. Alright, so this is the Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown. Uh, despite what anybody says, this is the superior Fairly Odd Parents, not that other game uh, that's two hours long. Um, I'm gonna skip some scenes here and talk to my fairies. Uh, this is the tutorial level. Uh, there isn't too much. Um, there's like one thing where I could either save five seconds or get dicked, but we'll see what happens. Um, it's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. The main mechanic is like sprinting all over the place. That's like the fastest form of movement. Um, anything else? Uh, I'm gonna come up to like a wish star here. Uh, wish stars grant me wishes throughout the run, which is basically basically like my power ups and stuff. Uh, all right, he moved. I got dicked on. All right, so I'm gonna get three stars throughout the level. Oh, I forgot I can't skip that. I'm gonna get three stars throughout each level uh, of the same color, and that's basically like the power up. This one is the slingshot. Which gives me a slingshot, and it's nothing. It's nothing too, too big. This is a tutorial level. Wouldn't really expect it. There will be some more in-depth stuff later in the run. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get a soft lock there, so that's 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 always good. You could soft lock there for some reason today. All right. All right. So this is a slingshot. It's awful. Uh, basically where I'm looking is where the projectile will go, so I pretty much have to like stare at these targets and press the Y button and shoot them. Alright, so hit this one, run back, am I in the right spot? I don't think I'm in the right spot. Okay, we were. So, so what he set up there is the cutscene activates when you're standing at the door and if you're standing in the loading zone where the door is opening then you get to kind of skip a small scene yeah it's like two two to three seconds it's not that bad but it's still a pretty decent time save all right so this is fairy world um i'm not gonna be in here for that long i'm just gonna get the first wish and then go straight to the end of the level for uh by doing some sprint jumps and out of bounds stuff, which I'll explain when I get there. Yeah, normally in the game you will get three wishes per level, but throughout most of the run we don't get a lot of them. Just I, the ones needed to actually. Actually, be level. it's half and half. You would get because we only do like four levels, and we get three wishes in two of them, and. Uh, one wish in the other two All right, so that was a sprint jump over that chasm over there. I'm not really supposed to be here until later All right, so this was discovered recently. I just go to the left and I skip a cutscene Also, you'll, you'll Notice some coins being picked up uh, These coins are going to be used in a later level to buy an upgrade that lets you uh, Sprint for much longer what am I doing? All right, here's another sprint jump out of bounds. Um, I'm gonna climb up this. All right, second try. I'm gonna climb up this uh, this bridge, and then this is supposed to be like a rainbow bridge, but we haven't done what we need to in order for this to be here. But it's still actually like here. Um, I'm a hopefully about to do a frame perfect trick. Come on, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, that took like that's like six frame buffers, but we got it. So the boss is invisible, uh, basically because we skip the cutscene of him appearing, but we're still able to like hit him. And that's that's like that trick is like frame perfect. Like you have to pause the game on like the exact frame the stage comes up. All right, shoot. So basically, I just shoot the jester with uh, the right suit, and that's the end of the level. Also, he's invisible because of the skip, but yeah. his hitbox is still there. Yep. All 
so that is Fairy World. On to my least favorite level in the game, take it on the chin. It is awful. I hate it so much. Um, so to explain some of the storyline, uh, Timmy's TV broke. And for some reason, uh, Cosmo and Wanda's magic doesn't work. So in order to repair your TV, you have to make the uh, fairy muffin that lets you, that grants you like any wish that you could possibly think of, like no limits. All right, so here's a quick like jump here. All right, I got it. That allowed that uh, it doesn't it didn't seem like I did a lot, but I definitely like trust me I skipped something. <laughs> So I missed that one jump, but it's alright, because I'm just gonna push that, pull that block. And then ladders are hard. So this level we're gonna get all three wishes. Um, we only, if we're, if we were, if we were able to um, beat the level with less than three wishes, that'd be great, because I fucking hate this level. Um, there, there's a th theoretical way to beat the level with only two of the wishes, but it would be insanely hard and maybe not even task possible just due to how the game runs. Well, we skip the uh, the freeze ray. Um, yeah. Okay. Theoretically, you could skip the freeze Hopefully. ray. Hopefully, all right. Yeah. Really RNG-based trick. All right, so that's the second best thing to happen there. Uh, the best thing to happen is if I was to like grab that star like as soon as I jumped over there, but the star went over to the right, which is pretty good because as soon as that star gets to like the top of that area over there, it stops. No matter if it goes to like the right, but if it goes to the left. Like, you have to go around, like, the whole thing, and it's annoying as hell. Alright, let's see if I can get this jump. Alright, no, that was awful. You could skip, uh, having to take out the pogo there, but I'm stupid, and I don't know how to run my own game. So, coming up is a seam jump across this fence here. Um, basically, we're gonna use this trick a lot throughout the run. Um... Timmy can pretty much jump off of anything like he lands on like almost instantly and we use that to our advantage to like get around out of bounds and that's an intentional at, death. Because it's at an incline, he's able to kind of jump down before he slides down it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the death, you hit a trigger that puts you down in the elevator shaft and since the game thinks that you're at the bottom of the elevator shaft, it just spawns you there. Yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. That skips quite a bit of the level. You would have to like go over and like block the two faucets or something like that. I don't really remember. It's been so long since I played this casually. Alright, so now we got the final wish, which is the freeze ray, and it literally does nothing else but freeze the uh, the mantas in the water. Well. It also freezes the robots, but we don't use it for that reason. We just use it for the mantas. Alright. So this is a pretty tricky trick right here. Not pulling the block, just what's coming up afterwards. Um, yeah, this, yeah, so there's this a small puzzle hard. skip here. You just kind of move the blocks into a certain position, but you're not actually completing the puzzle the way they expect you to because there's a special jump you can do that gets you up top. Hey. Alright, cool. They would normally expect you to jump onto the block to get up top here, but instead he's able to just jump up top without it. Alright. that small- alright, let's not jump into the water. That'd be great. Um, one thing I love about this game is the camera. Um, and by love, I mean absolutely fucking hate, because no matter which, like, direction the camera is facing, it's like, I don't know how to explain it that well, so when I get to, like, a specific door, I'll just hold up and you'll see how bad it is. Also, Timmy never runs at a completely straight angle. Uh, if you turn at all, his angle is turned at a diagonal.
Not, it's not this door coming up. Well, I could do it that, at this door. Alright, so what I when I go through this door, I kind of stop a bit because the camera changes there. And if I'm running to the left, it would pretty much like slam me against that wall. And I don't want that. Because if you bonk in this game, it's like three seconds. Oh, there you go. There's a, there's a good example right there. <laughs> Alright, so this trick is, uh, this next trick is pretty precise. I gotta like... Dip off the edge a bit. Alright, I don't think I got it. Alright, well, I'm a dirty fucking liar. I got it, but yeah, you dip off the edge there, and on. you're able to, like, fly over to this part. It's pretty cool. That's it my actually saves door. a lot more time than the previous one, because you skip doing basically two runes worth of block moving. Alright, so now we're just gonna jump up here. Alright. Alright, cool. Well, my pogo stick didn't come out, so I just fell to the ground. Um, I'm gonna grab a money bag here because I need it in order to get a a power up in the next level which is the speed shoes do i have enough i'm at 142 i think i i should be fine well all right so there's cutscenes in this game that you can't skip and there's cutscenes in the game that you can skip uh unfortunately this is one of those cutscenes that you can't skip so we're gonna be here for a while by a while, I mean like 30 seconds. Now's a good time to read donations. Yeah. Do we have any donations? I don't think our sponsors sent us any messages. Yeah, I don't think so either. Um. What? Alright. So, basically, all I gotta do is get to the top of the level and hit a couple of buttons, and H2Oga is D-E-D. -E um, this is a little difficult, because I have to, like, dodge a couple things, like those uh, faucets and falling off. Do anything falling off would be, like, so hard to do, but... I, to do I mentioned it before, but uh, since Timmy turns at an angle, like he doesn't, uh, it's not like a slight turn. It's like he just goes completely in diagonal if you turn left or turn right. Yeah, it's so it awful. can be kind of hard when you go around like rounded edges. Here's a cool thing that happens. If I were to sprint jump up this, which I did, um, I wouldn't be able to control Timmy until he like hits flat ground. Let's be a little ballsy here. All right, well, that costed me. I'm gonna die here. Hopefully I don't go all the way back to the beginning. Holy shit, I went all the way back to the beginning. All right, well, <laughs> that's great. Um, that's what I that's what I get for trying to do like quick stuff in this game. There's also the test strat of jumping on top of the walrus head without freezing it, but that's just completely awful because sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. Like, when you jump on the walrus head, you, like, lose your second jump. And we need that in order to get across. Alright, here we go. I don't... Alright, well, apparently I can't hit buttons. There we go. So I just have one more button to hit, and it's my least favorite button, because this is where runs die, usually. But this time my run died to that, this one. But it's, it's annoying, but you get used to it after a while. Yeah, this part gets extremely laggy as well. Oh shit, alright, well, thought I was gonna die there, but I didn't, oh my god. 
the water hit boxes on like the sprinkling water are actually really huge too so sometimes it will look like you're not gonna get hit by what it the fuck do. just happened there <laughs> all right well we're just gonna did i get hit and that's why it stopped me in midair uh yeah fuck all right well it looked like he he spit at you in, like the last second well all right this is this is oh. This is the exact reason why I hate this level, this part alone. We'll put that in the uh, that's never happened before book for the game. <laughs> I mean, just, I mean, I'm pretty sure it happened to someone. Like I can't be the first one. All right, so I can't skip this part of the cutscene. I have to wait until she falls flat on her face. And there. Alright, so now it's up to we're up to Dad's Dream. Dad's Dream is a good level. In my honest IML. Dad's Dream is where all runners' dreams turn into nightmares. I have a I have a theory that I could skip this cutscene by frame perfectly pressing the start button at the beginning. Nope. Alright, well. So this this but cutscene that's just a game theory. That's just a game theory. Yeah, the, so this this cutscene as you can see is not skippable, so we're also going to be here for a while. So if we have any more donations, now is the the perfect time. Uh we do not have any donations. Oh shit. We need to shock him away. I guess we'll just have to watch the cutscenes. Yep. Man, I guess we actually have to watch the cutscenes now. Alright, so this is the end of the cutscene. Hope you all enjoyed that. Alright, this suit is a pain in my ass. Um, Alright, cool, I got past it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. $10 from Germany. Nice. What's, uh, what's the message? Is there, was there a message or no? Apparently it said greetings from Germany. Uh, Bacon, was there a coin at the top of the stairs that I missed? Or... Uh, I think you could probably get one. I'll on probably just, back. yeah, I'll probably just get one on my way back. All right, cool. So I did dad's dream skip. Yeah, so he did the same kind of skip as before where you can jump on slopes multiple times because you're stopping the falling animation with the jump. And that skip there probably saves about 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, I think you I think you mean it. three hours. Oh yeah, sorry, three hours. Saves, saves three, three hours. hours. Alright, so now we have 150 coins and uh we can get the speed shoes and sprint for a longer period of time. Which is pretty neat. Oh, there was a coin at the top of the stairs. Can you pass? I told you. Can you pass the suit again coming back? Or um, no? I think it's I think it's harder to pass the suit on the way back. I uh -huh. think it's probably possible, but it's much harder because he's closer to you than before. Yeah, sounds about right. All right, so I bought the speed shoes, so now we go fast. Um, so the suit would normally be skipped, or you would normally stop them by having the light bulb wish, and you get a bug, and then it kills the suit, but. Yeah, a lot of to, them, I'm about uh, to we get skip the light doing bulb. that because it takes time to get the bug. Yeah, so I just got the, the light bulb, and if any of you were paying attention, um, when I get a new wish, like a cutscene comes up, if I get this fucking star, there we go. Like that, but since we skipped uh, part of the level, um, that cutscene actually doesn't play. Yeah, normally you only get one wish at a time, but instead we're getting both to kind of catch up. Alright, so forget what we said before about that last trick being the hardest trick in the game, which I don't even think we said. Uh, that's actually the- you gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, well, I'm an asshole now. I can't do simple tricks. So this lamp post jump is now the hardest skip in the game? Yeah. It, it just got changed uh, right before Holy this run shit. to being the hardest. Holy shit. Did this get patched? Am I running on a patched version of the game? Like, what the fuck is this? You there on, we go. You on the PTR version? Yeah, I'm on the PTR. Alright, so that took longer than it should have. Uh, all I had and to that, do... And that skip also saves three hours. Yeah. 
So it's three additional hours. So so far, so far we saved six hours throughout the the run. Actually, we saved more than six hours. We saved like twenty-two. So now we just have the hot dog part of the boat left to change back. And so he's gonna be going to the MLG air horn area. Oh man, that's my favorite part. You know why? Because the game can crash. And I hope it does, because I never had a marathon run where the game crashed. I just want this particular one to be the first one to crash. Only because, like, I have to go to sleep soon. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a slave worker, so... I and mean, now's the perfect time, because you're in Dream World. Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fall asleep. You take over from me, alright, Bacon? Gotcha. Alright. Nah, but, um... I'm gonna be doing... There's, like... If you've seen the run before, uh... There's, like, a new thing that was kind of found. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, so, there was this thing, there was this jump that was found by Locke. He's a really good runner of the game. Um, hopefully I get it. I have to line myself up, like, here. Alright, I missed it. That's alright, though. It still, it, it would still save me a little bit of time, according to Locke, if I get it, like, the second try. Alright, so I'm gonna line myself up. I'm usually not supposed to, like, fall off the edge, but it's alright. Alright. Fuck it. It is, a pretty, it. It's pretty, it is a pretty difficult jump to get. It is, it is really precise. You're basically making Timmy, like, just barely go high enough to where it puts him on the ledge. Yeah, and the ledge grab mechanics are pretty fucked in this game, so it's like, it's either, it's really lucky if you grab the ledge. All right, here we go. Are we gonna crash? Are we gonna crash? No! Oh, fuck! We didn't it's crash. Like you have to do the rest of the run. Damn! It's all right though. I would. I had a. I have a safety save. So if we did, I it wouldn't have taken taken us too far back. I would have. I would have like creamed my pants if I got that first so, try. So here's another suit skip. This one is actually a lot more difficult than the others. Yeah, you have to stand in to... like a. You have to stand. You have to stand in like a specific spot in order to to get this. You no. basically have to lure him away from his typical <sighs> spot and then get around him before he catches you. All right. So here's another thing that was found recently. This trophy has like a huge like invisible platform. You can just stand on it and jump to this. It saves a little bit, but you have to be quick about it, or else it doesn't really save that much. Alright, so now I'm gonna jump all the way over here. Alright. Ledge grabs! So good. Fucks me over every time. Alright, so... Oh, I don't have chat open. I can't ask them what fairy to use. Uh... What what does everyone want? Cosmo? Okay. All right, we're going with Cosmo. Cause he's faster. Yeah, that's that's the reason why we're going with Cosmo. All right, and I bonked against that wall. Cool. So now I just gotta fuel the boat, and then we're pretty much done with this level. And then we can go on to. The last level that we do in the game. And the uh, fueling the boat is just basically an auto scroller. Yep. Oops. This is why Cosmo is faster, because you just mash the A button and you don't even get to see the choices. Like it's just Cosmo all along. Just per just believe me that the choices are just Cosmo one day is like not available. Cosmo is actually like slightly faster. He just scrolls faster on the map. Oh really? I didn't know yeah. we. Uh, I didn't know we tested. We tested it. Uh, I did not test that, but I believe Kurobi did, who was oh, okay. the original router of the game. Man, Kurobi is like such a god. I don't think any of us could like 
none of us could like match his his movement skills. Yeah, currently Kurobi still has the the world record, and his run was three years ago. He basically just made a pace spin route of the game, and then uploaded a video of his record. Which is all which is all you really need for this run anyway. Most of it is a little bit of movement. It's literally just movement in like one or two tricks. Alright, so it's time alright, so we're gonna hit no here because you know Licensed video games love to ask you if you want to play again, and default is always yes for some reason. Like, it's so... I don't even know why. Alright, so this is, like, the worst fucking boss ever. Um, if yeah, yeah, I were to... Weird. If I were to die here, I have to, like... I have... Not only do I lose time... But I have to, like, do an extra cycle and stuff like that. It's really dumb. Okay, so this first one, I could just run all the way over to the bucket, or the button. And I can't, I have to, like, wait until this button pops up in order for me to hit it. Yeah, he can kind of screw you over because his hitbox, where he, or I guess his hurtbox, where he actually hits you with it spawns like right over the button so you just have a small window to actually hit the button and if he does hit you then it resets the cycle and you have to keep going before you can actually damage him that's if you that's if you die if you die you just have to restart the cycle all right cool that was actually that was actually a really good boss fight like i'm i'm Pretty happy with how that level went for the most part. Colbert. Might have lost a little bit of time, but that's okay. Alright, so this is get a clue. This is the last level that we do in the run. Uh this this level we only get one wish, which uh flips the world upside down. And it's the only wish that we need to beat the boss. And it's got another pretty huge skip that saves about four hours in the run. You don't have to do, you don't have to get the other wishes and dick around. You can just go straight to the boss. All right, uh, fall down, please. Thank you. All right, so this room is ass. Um, I have to hit like five red buttons in the time limit and I the time limit is actually really strict to like eh. considering the game's a kids game it's very tight of a timing for it to be a kids game I guess yeah a little bit it is I guess it is a little bit oh uh, shit all right we're good you should be fine like if you if fall you basically have to wait for the the timer to reset because you won't be able to get all four buttons star started to move without me being there you know that's the the wa ghost everybody loves you know the waluigi memes well so does fairly odd parents see there it is again everybody everybody loves waluigi which is why they can't fucking shut up about it during GDQs. Alright, so this jump is easy. I don't know why I keep failing it. I'm gonna take it a little slow here. Alright, fuck it. Alright. So now we got the, the world flipper thing. I'm just gonna flip the world upside down a couple of times. Run to this door. Flip over like immediately. Alright, so what I'm gonna do next is another seam jump. Uh, and it allows me, like, you'll, it's a little, I mean, it's not a little difficult to explain. I'm just really bad at explaining things, so. I can explain it. Yeah, you can explain it. That's that'd be good. So, so we're using the same principle of all the other skips that have happened so far. 
There's a small slope on the side, and he's going to just jump to the peak of the slope at the very end of the room, and then he uses the world flipper before the game triggers his death, and then he's going to flip the world over and then jump on the reverse side of it to get to the end of the room. They normally expect you to get another item to get across this room, and it like generates a small bridge, but instead we can just do this seam jump. That was weird. Alright, so pretty much I can just get to the end of the, the level here. Alright. You're normally supposed to like take a uh, take a box around this maze, but you'll see what I'm able to do in a second. Uh, I'm just gonna jump down here. So right here, I'm gonna position myself here, and I'm just gonna hold forward. And there we go. That skipped the entire the uh, maze thing. All right. So for some reason, you could skip this cutscene, but not this one. Uh, so if we have any more donations, now's the time. Um. We have a donation from Wa. From Wa? It says Wa from Germany. <laughs> everybody, everybody, be sure to say Wa every time somebody says Wa. It, it gets, it gets funnier, trust me. So, for the boss here, you're actually just going to get the boss in the proper position to hit it with a box, and then you flip the world to flip the box on top of it. Yeah, they know. expect you to have uh, another item that helps with the boss, but... Um, I think I might be a little bit out of... If you just get the I'm boss's shadow so in place of the box... Stupid. Can I not... I am choking so hard. Sometimes the boss can just like not play nice. You usually have to stand a bit back to make sure it positions no, what itself I, over the boss. What I thought would ha was happening uh, was he usually, they usually shoot three times and they shot four times, which is dumb. See, look, now it's playing nice. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, I think there's normally like a magnifying glass or something that shows like where it's gonna go. Because it's supposed to be invisible or something. They're invisible, just... so you're supposed to like see where they are, and then you're supposed to you're supposed to do something. I don't really remember too much. Yeah, I, I don't remember either. All right, so this should like be can, the last hit. We can clearly All right, cool. see them though. So. All right, so now that's it's time for the, the, the now it's shadow. time for the last boss. The, the shadow showdown guy. Alright, press skip sk the skip scene please, thank you. So, there Fuck. is a scene on the door that goes to the Fuck. boss. So, he's just gonna be jumping on top right, of that go. to Third get to the final boss. This That's skips an easier. entire two levels and probably saves about... 10 hours. Uh, I don't know, like... Yeah, 10 hours. We'll say 10 hours. Especially especially since, like, one level, you have to do casually anyway. Alright, so basically he's gonna turn around and, like, activate buttons, and I have to hit those buttons. Time comes up when I hit the boss the final time. Alright, that's two. Honestly, the boss fight is like the easiest boss fight in the game, too. I tend to fuck this up so much, though. Like, you couldn't even, like... You couldn't, like, make up how many times I fucked up this boss. We're coming up on time. Yeah. And... Oh, fuck. Time! 
34-29. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. That's a that's a that's a decent marathon run. That's like how my marathon runs go. I thought it was on PB pace too. That's weird. Hey man, what's world record? Uh, 28. <laughs> 28, <minutes. laughs> 28 56 right. or something like that. I don't even remember. There's cool. All right, cool. So uh, yeah, that was uh, fairly odd parents shadow showdown. I usually watch the cutscene, but I don't know how much time we have, and I have to go to bed anyway, so... Yeah, we're gonna pass it off. We'll be back in a hot jiffy with hey. some Gex, some some Mr. James Bond Gecko. Uh, so follow this boy. Uh, Speech your below the stream if you got FFZ, otherwise, uh, be right back. Alright, see you guys. Thanks for watching.